what we see here and what has struck me particularly upon arrival is the uniqueness of the Turkish approach and inclusiveness and generosity that you know the refugees are Syrian refugees are included in education in the community in public service provision so there are now uh, 830,000 children in Turkish schools the two million uh, Syrian refugees who are of working age have the right to participate in the labor force legally. Uh, whether they can is another question. And as has already been mentioned, they do have access to healthcare provision and to vaccines, which I think is really an extraordinary uh, offering here that's now being realized in Turkey. We see, we see the rollout of vaccines happening very, very quickly now. And also that uh, the refugees are not confined to camps or in a specific area. There is a, a large number in the Southeast, but obviously refugees are all over the country. And the scale of Turkish support so far numbers uh, up to uh, 40 billion US dollars. So a huge commitment by the Turkish government to inclusion, self-reliance, and, and what is here called harmonization or sort of the inclusion in the life of the, the national community.